CEO Raleigh for Creative Beers got my man Sean Rash giving us a little preview of these brand new right, balls from Global. They call it the burner. They got a burner solid and they got a burner pearl. And he is allowing us to get an exclusive quick sneak peek because he has these balls at Bowl Expo. So we're going to take a peek at them as well as some of the new pieces coming from 900 Global. They got that brand new Zen Master, which I'm telling you right now, everybody's super excited to hear about that. That right there is the burner solid. So he's going to throw it for us. Give us a couple of little peeks at it real quick. So is this is this is this more of a, a lower end piece or a minimum piece? Yeah, it's part of our 600 series. Definitely a low end bowling ball. Uh, for, you know, just a step up from the beginner. You know, looking for that low, smooth reaction. Um, it it complements the afterburner. Came out about a year ago, year and a half ago. So we have two different ones. We have a solid that's orange and blue. Uh, that kind of replaces the afterburner blue and black. And then we have a pearl that's got a red, purplish color that replaces the afterburner purple and black. So. Okay, awesome, awesome. So we're going to have you throw a couple more shots with each of these bowling balls and let you take a peek. Now, obviously we're seeing, though they may be low price, they definitely are not low performance. Got that one in, the ball still held nice. So this is a piece you're going to use on more of those patterns when they begin to break down, which is good. Now, conversely, we're also going to be able to take a peek at the newer pieces, too. So we're going to be able to work our way kind of through the 900 Global product line, one ball at a time. That was a little bit right, and it still comes back. So that's nice. So that was a good piece. You can see that ball gets down the lane. It makes a nice little move. Yeah, it's, uh, for me, the, the burner solid is a really low end, heavy rolling ball that controls the lane. Uh, it's just a step down below a benchmark ball. So, like, uh, benchmark balls for me, are like Honey Badger Intensities, uh, Aspects, Ordnance C4s, where if I need just a little bit less mid lane and down lane motion, I can throw a burner to where I can keep my angles a little straighter. Uh, these are going to be, this solid will be really, really good on shorter patterns. Uh, something that I love the ball on, I can throw it harder right. and not have an overbalance when it sees friction. Well, let's see their pro then. Okay. We'll watch him throw the pro down the lane. Same spot. Same spot. Sorry. Perfect. <laughs> Woo! Woo! You got a little giddy up on the back end. Yeah, it's, it's so much cleaner through the mid lane. Uh, it's got to be at least three or four feet for me. Uh, both are drilled the same, uh, right above the ring finger. Uh, definitely, you know, the burner solid, uh, where I like to play straighter on a shorter pattern, I would stand farther left and throw this one at the gutter and, you know, expect it to bounce off the gutter. Something I did a lot with the afterburners, uh, anything lower end. And uh, later in a block, you know, later night league for the league bowlers, game three, you're starting to see an over under wet and dry condition. And you want to stand really far to the left and throw it as far right as you want. Uh, there's still enough core inside of it to come off. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll make a nice little, we'll move like, uh, we'll just, uh, we'll take seven and three left. Seven and three. Woo! She liked that friction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, change the game position a little bit, of course, but uh, for it to still come off the spot on the seventh shot on the lane, right? That's a, that's a good that's, sign. That's a good sign. Yeah, we definitely still want to super fresh, super fresh. You didn't need to see you know, game three reaction here. I can still move left and, and throw it at it. So you know, if your ball speed's a little bit lower, you wanted to see clear the front still. The pearl's the way to go. And if your ball speed's a little higher. Go with the salad, put a little service on it. So. Right, right. Makes a lot of sense. All right. So it at least gets there, right? Yeah. You know, it's one of those things that um, you want to control the pocket, front to right. back, side to you know, not side to side. It's the biggest difference from you know, pros and amateurs. Seeing the lane front to back. Sure. All right, we'll throw one more shot with that piece. Move, he's gonna move back just a little bit right. 
And you saw that he gave you some free jewelry there, a little free tip. Talking about how pros play the lanes front to back, whereas us amateurs tend to play side to side. Now, we're not leaving on no seven pin, or no ten pin. We're going to have him throw one more. He's going he to get ten back for us. We're going to watch this ball explode through the pins. So that was a free tip, though. You know, telling us that, you know, pros play the lanes front to back, and amateurs, we amateurs do tend to play the lanes side to side, and that's a big difference. And big I think flat ten is the best of them. You know, I'm getting a little older, so flat ten's okay. <laughs> I can make those. But at the same time, it just tells me if I was going to choose between one of these two balls, the burner's the way to go because it's seen the lane a little bit sooner and doing the right thing through the mid lane and down lane where this afterburner is just not catching enough friction off the spot. So between these two balls, you know, 10 shots in now, we know which one to start with and which one to finish with. So that gives you some more information about which ball to throw and when to throw it, right? So he's telling you he left that flat 10 and that was a key for him to be able to, actually he would change balls if he was bowling a tournament. For our little demo, he's just gonna do a little hand position change and make it work. But now you have a little more information about, that. okay, what you got next, my man? We got Zen Masters. We got Zen Masters. Well, we got to see that Zen Master. Oh, okay. I think before we go to Zen Master, we just need a little peek at that Zen again because woo, that Zen, that Zen is the truth. So we want to start with the Zen and we can work our way to Zen Master. Now, everybody knows that Zen is one of them balls that when it comes, when it, when it came out, people were kind of like, what is it? And we saw a lot of people throwing that ball, a lot of pros throwing that bowling ball. So this is one of those pieces that, well, it just does the right thing all the time. <laughs> Five left the target is still a struggle. Yeah, that ball does the right thing all the time. So what I'm really curious is to see how does the Zen compare to the Zen Master? Because obviously Zen Master is a new ball. It's a, a solid piece. I'm a, and I know it has the same core. Um, I don't know about the same cover though. We're about to You're find out. Wrong guy. That's, that's our R&D department. Don't worry. Well, I can go look. I can go back here and look. So basically what it says is it's 3,000 grit finish, and it is the same cover. It's S77. So it's same cover, just solid. Exact same cover, but solid. Yeah, same cover. How are you, sir? Doing well. How's it going? Good, man. We just we just take a little peek. Now, we're all big fans of the Zen. Like, everybody's a big I'm everybody, a big fan of the Zen. Everybody is. Yep, yep. Every, so, even our competitors. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, everybody's a fan of the Zen. So talk to me about the Zen Master. What's going on with it? Same exact core as the Zen, just a solid S77 response cover. So... Uh, more more hook overall than what the than what you, what you see with the Zen, and hopefully it's a ball you can start with and then transition into that Zen, no problem. Because once, you, once you get into the Zen, you ain't never coming out that bad. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no it's amazing. So it's, this so this is more for the heavier oil then. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. We've got the reality right now, which is our uh, right. big dull asymmetric for heavy oil. This is our big dull symmetric. Big for heavy symmetric oil. for heavy oil. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, that's the that's the yeah, that's the uh, that's the big dull uh, symmetric option. So you struck with this you struck with the Zen. So let's throw the Zen Master in the same spot. Now we know we're not going to strike here. But that's okay. We we want to just kind of get a real good comparison. It might. Well, well, that's true. Well, that's true. Well, not on this time. It's okay if you don't. We want to see a good comparison first, and then you can make it strike. Now he got it. He got it right. He got it right. So it still came back. See, that's the pro. That's the that's the pro right there coming out because he was like exactly, exactly, exactly. I definitely saw that ball pick up a little bit earlier, get into more of a roll. So that's good to see. So that's definitely going to give Which you a compliment true. to the Zen. Correct. Yep. Definitely a ball. Exactly what it's supposed to do. Mm. It's got. I see a little. I see a little hint of that. Uh, of that Zen shape through the pins, though. Yeah, you know it's got saying? the same kind of shape where it keeps pins low. Yeah. You, know, you don't see a lot of things up in the air. Just control, you know, for, for us on tour, both the men's and the women's tour, we see Daria throw it here in a little bit. You want to see control more than anything. Right. So you kind of start with this, you start with that ball, and then once the lane's broke down, you'd work your way back to the zone. Yeah, like Matt said, for depending if I'm going to go with an asymmetric or a symmetric type piece, uh, it'll be a reality or a Zen Master to start pretty much every pattern. It, it's not the benchmark ball, but it's the benchmark ball to, to see what the pattern is doing through practice sessions. And then you make your educated guesses from there. If you go to a you know, honey badger intensity, you need a little slower response ASIM or a revival, you need more skid flip. And the same thing with the symmetric stuff where, you know, C4 or uh, even the burner series, you need some smaller and shorter uh, and rolly. 
And then if you need some skid flip stuff, grab the Zen and just move left. Well, yeah, once you move left with the Zen, she's definitely coming back. Not scared to come back. I did that ball yesterday, actually, and definitely was uh, very comfortable with my reaction with that piece. So now he's moved in with the Zen, and that's just what it does right there. That's just what it does. So eight three left of the Zen Master, a little slower speed, but 20 shots in on a house pattern. Definitely a special piece. I know when that ball came out, like I said, people were kind of like, man, they were like, well, this ball's kind of unique. And then we started seeing it on the tour like every week. And he started seeing multiple guys throwing it on the tour all the time. And it's like, oh, well, maybe there's something to this piece. Matt, you tell me about, what's, what's your opinion of that? So right there, I mean, you just, those last two shots he threw, you just see the versatility of the Zen. He moves in, he kind of gets on it a little harder. We kind of circles it more. It comes off the pattern. It responds. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. He squares up and tries to shove it through the fronts a bit more. It doesn't overreact. It doesn't jump. It stays on line. Again, I mentioned the reality earlier. The core of the Zen is just it, what I always tell people is how massive it is. I mean, it's, it barely fits in the outer core. Uh, so when you when you throw it, you can really see the ball want to start up early, but not lose energy early. You can see that what bowlers want to see. I, I think a good word is a footprint on the lane. It gives you that wide footprint that you want to see. And whereas the reality, it's actually a smaller, more compact core. It still gives you the RGs and the dips that you're all looking for, uh, but it is a completely different shape. And that's what we want to do. So again, just two very versatile pieces that can play off of each other very well, uh, which I think is what, that's all you can ask for. Of course, that's not what you're looking for. So have, let's, let's see you throw one more shot with that Zen Master. When does the Zen Master come out? We're looking at middle of August right now. That all, that's always kind of in flux, but middle of August looks pretty solid as of, as of this moment. So uh, that's the release date we're looking Great for. Shot. I want to see you curve it. I want to see Sean Rash give me the big curve. 20 years ago, Sean Rash. <laughs> See, that's what I call the Hall of Fame Sean Rash right there. No, nah, that's the Hall of Fame one right there, coming out. We definitely appreciate your time, my man. Is there any other piece that we need to see? This is all we've got. we got Zen Masters today. Uh, you saw him throw the burners. Those are out uh, July 2nd, so make sure to check those out. But otherwise, Zen Master for uh, middle of August. Zen Master, middle of August. Definitely going to put one of those in the bag. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Ten back all the time. All the time. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Matt, for uh, hanging out with us, man. Definitely appreciate it. Appreciate it. We're going to be able to put this on YouTube and let all the people around the world know some more about 900 Glove. Make sure you get one of them Glove, glove and Bowling Balls if you need something to be able to up your game a little bit.